Hey what's up everybody so if you are new to this channel then you might miss the last workshop video in which I convert the shelf into the cabinet skeletons. And in this video I am going to convert those structure into the cabinet and the drawers. So if you like this video then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe our channel for more builds. So starting off this build by gluing the laminate onto the drawer sides which I have already cut down in my previous part. For the gluing down the laminate instead of using contact cement I use regular wood glue although it took more time than the contact cement but for me it works very well and I use wood glue in all of my previous build and get quite good result with this. To apply the even pressure onto the gluing surface, I use these bar clamps. If you don't have clamps and wanted to build your own, then click on the upper right corner to see the bar clamp video after this. After cleaning and trimming the excess portion, I start the process of making drawers. For that, I clamp my right angle jig to the draw sides and then glue and nail them together. Later on I decided to screw them as well for more strength. There are a total of 30 drawers in this build that's why it took a lot of time and effort to build all of them. Then I started the work onto the drawer bottoms and for that I cut down the sheet of ply onto which I already glued the laminate cut down to the manageable size so that I can cut the drawer bottoms from them onto my table saw. The drawer bottoms of 11 and 6 inches deep drawers having half inch thick bottom and rest of them having quarter inch thick bottom. Once all pieces are cut down, I started the gluing process of the bottom to the draw rabbit area. For that I used pin nails and some wood glue. Once the drawer has been completed, I started the work for gluing the edge bending to the exposed area. Instead of iron on edge bending, I use simple glue on edge bending. After that I started the work onto the stud wall area. Since I'm going to use this area for carving purpose, that's why I need electrical supply here as well. For that I use 3 quarter inch thick diameter pipe and some pipe clamps which are going to held it to its place. Then I measure the distance and cut the pipe to the required length and fix it to the stud wall. At the top of the ceiling I also decided to provide some light so that so that's why I lay the pipe there as well. Once the pipe has been laid down I feed the wire through those pipes then I started the process of covering the area with 3 8 inch thick ply. Onto the sheet I marked the power outlet and then screwed it to the stud wall. I checked the squareness and find it out of square that's why I screwed some 
shim to the bottom piece of the stud wall so that it becomes square the top of the area is also half inch out of the square that's why i screwed a half inch strip to the stud and then fixed the ply to that Then I started the work of installing the runners into the cabinet for that I used 22 inch long runners. I purchased 3 different runners from different companies and have different price as well. I do this just to test the quality and the difference between them and that's why I didn't purchase cheap one in too much number of. After unpack all of them I decided to weight them and I found a huge difference in the weight. The one with the orange bumpers a very cheap quality runners and i think in future i am never ever going to use them the second one which came in red wrapper having a good quality and i think it's good to use for workshop and household purpose and the third came in black packing are the best one which i am going to use for the deep drawers which are going to keep all of my power tools and other heavy accessories then i place them according to the requirement and start the process of screwing them to the sides I use half inch thick ply which I use as a spacer. Then I cut down a strip of 3 quarter inch thick ply, screwed it to cover the front of the top shelf. To cover the pillar I cut down 13 inch wide ply so that I can cover the exposed area of that pillar as well and bring all of them in the same line. I hope it makes sense.
also cover the front of these small shelves as well since I knock off the area slightly deep that's why I need to screw a shim underneath the ply to bring them in a straight line. Then I cover the side portion as well which is quite tricky to do. The area is quite uneven that's why I have to do a hit and trial method. I cut down the ply and then reshape and then check it and then reshape until I get the complete closing with the ply. Same thing has been done to the second shelf as well but in that I use 3 8 inch ply because I am out of my material. Then I clean up the shelf so that I can lay a 3 quarter inch thick ply which provide a smooth surface like a tabletop during the work. To check the alignment I screw these scrap pieces and then measure the distance from the wall to them and then cut the ply according to the dimension I needed. Once I get the exact fitting I screwed it permanently to the shelf. and then cover the front of the exposed shelf as well. So if you like this video then make sure to leave your feedback in the comment section down below and if you want to see the progress of this work then make sure to subscribe the channel as well. Till then have a safe making.